Hi, everybody. This is Al at Greenway Print Solutions. I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to use Adobe Acrobat Pro, not Acrobat Reader, but Acrobat Pro, to uh, take PDFs that are given to you by your customers and making sure that everything is correct for four color printing and actually converting things, converting spot colors and RGB files that may be in there to CMYK so that you can show your customer the converted file and make sure that they approve it before it goes to print rather than letting the press do the conversion for you which may not come out to your satisfaction. So here's a couple of quick tips. The first thing I want you to see is if you want to know what fonts are in here for whatever reason simply go under file properties and there's all kinds of headings up here what you want is fonts it will list every font that's embedded in here you often wondered how you would know what these fonts are now you can tell very quickly in this case I only have Arial bold and Arial regular if you look at it go under the tools section right over here uh, all the tools used to be available from the main menu up here and there's still a bunch of tools available in what's called the toolbar which you can change at any time but all the tools are right here and go under print production if you don't see print production go here make sure print production is checked and uh, the print production area will show up this whole menu thing is an accordion type of thing so every time you hit a heading everything under it shows up so let's go back to print production let's go to output preview and you're going to see the very first problem. The first problem is that in addition to the CMYK, we have two spot plates. We have the 802C and the Reflex Blue C. And now we know immediately that there's a potential problem here because these spot colors have to be converted. We also can see that there's a transparency on the page and that there's some blending on the page, which can cause problems. Another thing you can do is in the preview preview area here you have three options one is object inspector and if you take it over any object on the page you can see that the cursor becomes crosshairs click on it and it will give you just about all the information you need about that uh, you can see number one that it's RGB because the PDF wasn't created correctly and you can also see the resolution in this case it's 142 pixels by 142 pixels which is not great. This was a screen image. And uh, if you ever need to know that, to tell your customer, this is how you do it. So how do we convert everything to CMYK? Go to Preflight. And Preflight is amazing. It's a ton of tools here. And again, it's an accordion type of menu. So if you simply go to um, uh, PDF fixups, and say convert to CMYK only, you want the swap method. You notice there's a number of convert to CMYK. In this case, it's keep spot colors. You don't want that. You want CMYK, but you want the SWOP, standard, I think it stands for standard web offset printing. So if you simply click on that, it's going to, and you click on analyze and fix, it asks you to save it as a new file. We'll call it CMYK. We'll save it. You now notice that the file is a CMYK and everything has been converted. How do we show this? We show this by going back to output preview and notice that there are no spot plates. So now what you can do is you can take this new PDF that you've created and this reflex blue is going to look a little bit different than the reflex blue that was in the original. Send it to your customer and say, this is what it's going to look like as CMYK. I need your approval. And there you go. Now, the other thing I want to show you very quickly is the potential for having hairline problems. And what I did was I put a one-point stroke and a 100-point stroke. And what I want to show you is that Acrobat will take the 100-point stroke and show it as the minimum that it can show you, which in this case is probably a half a point stroke. And so you're looking at this in the PDF saying, if it prints this way, it's going to be fine, but it's not going to print that way. In fact, this will probably not even show up. So how do you fix that? Well, you simply go to down here, back under print production. You go to fix hairlines, and you go make sure that your unit is points. 
And you can say that anything that's narrower than, let's say, um, a quarter of a point should convert to, let's say, one point. And say OK. And it says this operation can't be undone. Well, it can be undone if you don't save the file. But if you do save the file, it can't be undone. So say yes. And it's taken care of. And voila, there you have it. Everything is taken care of. You now have a file that you can easily send to a four-color plant, and it should come out really well. Thank you. Appreciate your attention.